everybody. I want to walk you through a no glue technique lamination. It's gonna save you on time, and honestly, I feel like the results are so much better. We're gonna finish it off with a henna treatment as well, so you'll be able to see both those services together. So once we've cleansed the skin with our oil-free cleanser, so here's lift lotion number one. You should only be using two pumps per eyebrow. So I like to put it on the back of my hand and then use what I need as I'm brushing it through the eyebrow hairs. If you find you're needing more product, what I like to do is brush the spoolie onto the back of my hand to get any excess product and that should be enough. So what we're doing is we're brushing those eyebrow hairs up and we're putting that cellophane on to hold them in place. So if you're not using the glue, what I like to do is after two and a half minutes, after half of our time, I like to go in with our Y comb because they're kind of more pliable now and we can move them around. And I like to just kind of brush them more into place after that product has sat on there for a little bit. And then we're going to put that cellophane back on uh, and we're going to let them sit for the remaining, remaining two and a half minutes. Depending on which uh, eyebrow strength you're working with, you wanna adjust that time, but today we're doing five minutes. So once our five minutes is up, I'm going to remove our excess lotion, and then I'm going to apply water, which is going to help stop the activation. So that's really important. We don't wanna leave the residue of the uh, lotion on there, and they're going. if we do that, they're going to uh, over fry or over process and so we want to make sure that we stop that activation with the water so we're gonna go in with our number two again two pumps per eyebrow and we just quickly brush them through make sure you're getting all that product on there and same thing we're gonna put the cellophane on leave it for two and a half minutes and then halfway through just take our Y comb and really go in there and make sure that they're all nice and pulled up into position Again, this is gonna save so much time that you're not um, working with that glue. So we let it sit for two and a half minutes. We remove it, same, we're going to remove all of our lotion and then we're going to take a wet Q-tip and we're gonna make sure we stop all that activation. So you can see it's pretty wet on that Q-tip. You're getting quite a bit of um, water on there and then I kind of go over with the other side of the q-tip the dry side and just make sure that everything is dry before I apply the next step so once you're done with that if that's your lamination service you can go ahead with your number three lotion and a wax or a removal um, if that uh, is not all you want to do and you want to go into the henna you're going to apply the henna right on top so I've pre-mixed her colors and I had them sitting there when I had her processing the second lotion. And so I was ready to go right in there afterwards. And I like to just throw it on because we're not going to be leaving it on for the full 10 to 20 minutes. We're only gonna be leaving it on for about one to two minutes because everything is going to process so much faster now that we've done that chemical process. So you can see right after I applied it, I removed the middle section and then we're only leaving it on for about one to two minutes. So we're not really getting that stain on the skin as we would if we were doing just our straight henna treatment. We're more tinting just the hair. So you're getting more of that microbladed, more of that hair stroke look. Um, and so again, we're only leaving it on for a couple of minutes because everything is going to process that much faster now that we've done that lamination treatment. If you've done a lamination and you're going to do a waxing, I definitely recommend a hard wax, a stripless wax, as the skin around the brow area is gonna be a little bit more sensitive than it, it would have been if we had just gone in with a straight henna and the soft wax. So we don't really want to get any terror um, teared skin um, so I suggest doing the hard wax where it's going to adhere itself to the hair not so much on the skin like a soft wax would so as you can see I brush the hairs down that's fine uh, we don't want them obviously to stay like that in a uh, for a long period of time so I always tell my client keep the eyebrow hairs brushed up um, for the next day or two but other than that they can kind of brush them and place them wherever they want 
So I'm gonna go in, the one thing with the hard wax is you are gonna get a little bit more tweezing is gonna be required just because depending on how skilled you are at the hard wax, how close you can get to that eyebrow area. Um, so you wanna go in and finish off all your tweezing. And then what I like to do, this is my little trick, is I take my number three lotion and I do one pump into the brow soap. Sometimes one pump is just a bit too much. It makes it a little bit too soapy. So even just half a pump instead of using water and then that will help um, nourish the eyebrows. And then instead of trimming, we don't wanna trim the eyebrows because if the, the lamination comes out eventually and they're gonna fall, you're gonna be left with all those holes and blunt ends. So I like to shape the eyebrow with the spoolie as you can see and then we're going to finish off our treatment with our um, highlighter brow highlighter and I just find that this is a nice professional touch uh, my clients leave feeling like they've had a little bit more of a professional service something a little bit extra that they necessarily wouldn't have done themselves and then it's a great chance to talk to them about the products and maybe upsell them with a brow pencil or the brow soap that we use or our brow highlighter or any of our other products. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at hello at bepampered.ca or go check out all of the rest of our videos on YouTube or on our website, shopbepampered.com.